Good day friends, welcome to my channel, lecture series on power electronics. In this lecture we will see about step up cycloconverters. In my previous uh, lecture I have explained about the basics of cycloconverter in which also I have explained the stepping up frequency. For understanding stepping up frequency let us see this picture again. In the first waveform we see that there is one cycle of waveform in a period of time t. So if we take that as f and in the next one we see that in the same time period we have two cycles. This is twice the frequency and in the next one in the same time period we are having four cycles. So this is four times the frequency. This is called stepping up. Using a cycloconverter if the input is having a frequency f we can get any frequency as 2f, 4f or any, any value based on the operation of the switches. So this is a midpoint cycloconverter. This is called as midpoint cycloconverter because we are using a center tap transformer here. A center tap transformer has got a primary and it has got a secondary in which there is a neutral point the upper half of the transformer as well as the lower half of the transformer will have the same value of the voltage that is available in the primary. So Vs is the source voltage. In this circuit we see four switches, four thyristors marked as P1, N1, P2 and N2 and the load is connected in from the neutral point to the junction of the uh, two groups of the thyristors. So for uh, during the positive half cycle of the supply voltage that will be plus on the uh, top and minus on the bottom of the primary of the transformer. The same thing is appearing in the secondary side also. So if you see plus is available on top and minus is available in the neutral point in the uh, bottom half of the secondary you have plus and minus as shown here. So during the positive half cycle the thyristor P1 will get plus in the anode and minus at the cathode. So it is getting forward biased. Whereas N1 is get, not getting forward biased because plus is available for the cathode and minus is available for the anode. So during positive half cycle, if the gate pulse is given for P1, it will start conducting and there will be a current flow from plus through P1 and through the load. So the current is going to flow from in the clockwise direction from the plus through P1 to the load. During positive half cycle itself, if we see on the lower part of the circuit, we are having two thyristors P2 and N2. During positive half cycle, there is minus available at this point. So the P2 is reverse biased as anode is getting minus. N2 is getting minus to the cathode. So it is forward biased. So at this time, if N2 is given the gate pulse, then it will also start conducting. Then there will be a current flow because of the N2 in the direction as plus load N2 back to supply. So during positive half cycle period itself, if P1 is switched on, the current flow through the load will be in clockwise direction. That is the current flow in the load will be from right to the left. At the same time, when P1 is switched off, N2 is turned on. During positive half cycle itself, we will see that the current flow is from load N2 back to the source. So we will have the current flow in the load from left to the right. So during positive half cycle itself, if once P1 is switched on and switched off, then N2 is switched on and switched off, we get one cycle of output voltage. The number of times we switch on and off P1, N2, P1, N2, we will be getting the different number of cycles. So during positive half cycle of the supply voltage, you can see the positive half cycle and negative half cycle marked with a black color as the input. So during the positive half cycle of the supply voltage itself, 
we will see that when P1 is switched on, we get the positive side. N2 is switched on, we get the negative half cycle. So, though it is not a sine wave, P1, N2 becomes one cycle. Again, P1, N2, again P1, N2, we will get three cycles of voltage as output. This is during the positive half cycle. During the negative half cycle, we will be able to switch on the other two switches, P2, N1, P2, N1 alternatively and during the negative half cycle, this point will be minus and this point will be plus. Plus. And this point will be minus, this point will be plus. So, if you see among P1 and N1, now N1 is forward biased because it is getting negative at the cathode. And if you see here, P2 is forward biased because it is getting positive at the anode. So, now when N1 is switched on, we will get a current flow in the circuit from plus load N1 back to the transformer. Again, when N1 is switched off, P2 is turned on. The current flow will be from supply P2 load back to the transformer. So, when N1 is turned on, the current flow in the circuit is from left to right. And when P2 is turned on, the current flow in the circuit is, also, is from right to left. So, in the negative half cycle alone, if N1 and P2 are switched on and off alternatively due to the required number of times, we will be able to get required number of cycles. So, if you see in the negative half cycle, we have this P2, N1, P2, N1 alternatively turned on. So, as in the previous uh, positive half cycle, it is done three times P1, N2, P1, N2, P1, N2 turned on. Here, P2, N1, P2, N1, P2, N1 is turned on. So, if we see in a black color mark line, which is the input, in that cycle itself, we have three cycles in the positive half cycle of the input supply, three cycles in the negative half cycle of the input supply. So, overall the frequency we have in one cycle of the input voltage, there are six cycles of output voltage. So, this uh, type of uh, switching the uh, P1, N1, P1, P1, N2 alternatively, we will be able to get six times the frequency. If it is done at a different uh, frequency, we will get the required uh, frequency. So, we can see the output waveform. The output voltage waveform of a cyclo, step up cyclo converter is shown here. The black line indicates the input waveform and the blue line indicates the output waveform. For, for the for one cycle of the input waveform, we see now that there are six cycles of output waveform. So, this is a F to 6F cyclo converter means the frequency is stepped up from F to 6F. And uh, the same circuit can be used for stepping down the frequency also, which I will be explaining in my next lecture. Thank you.